What's going on you guys? I'm back at it again. It's uh, Thursday morning. One day before my surgery. So uh, I'm guessing around 24 hours from now uh, I'll be under the knife. Uh, so I came in here basically just to water since I did come in here yesterday to feed. Um, just enough uh, so we don't have to come in tomorrow. I, I wouldn't say uh, we. I say uh so my wife wouldn't have to come tomorrow. Um, either way, we wouldn't be able to make it in the morning because she's uh, coming with. So this is a, a video mostly for her. It's a, more or less a how-to. So as you can see, this is uh, how I feed my plants, my ladies. Uh, I initially start with a sprayer. Just kind of getting everything wet and uh, nice soaking going on so once we come back and uh, really give some water it uh, distributes the water evenly and it's not just uh, getting water in one section in the soil um, because if you do if you just dump water on top you'll have air pockets and little dry spots within the root zone so that's one thing I do just real quick spray let's move on so right now it's just water but when it's uh, feeding especially if it's uh, specifically for flowering plants or vegging plants you have to kind of uh, pay attention to uh, you know what ladies you're spraying so like I said just water evenly on these just worry about the tops so I'm, I'm just spraying right now getting everything wet so when I come back with the water it uh, separates it and uh, doesn't just sit in one spot okay also when you're uh, in here watering feeding uh, I'm guessing in between uh, watering the ladies you might want to come in here and just stare at the tops uh, look for any spotting other than what's already here there's already a couple spot or leaves in here that have a couple of spots here and there um, so if you do see more spotting than usual then you'll come in here and just look at the top kind of stare at it for a while see if you can see any of like the uh, really really thin spider webs it's kind of hard to see with the naked eye but if you're staring at it uh, for a good 15, 10 seconds, you'll, you'll see movement or you'll see something. Uh, but they should be somewhat clean. So, moving on to veg. Just quick spray. Like I said, just uh, try to water feed evenly. So there's that one. Under here. Try to turn it a bit. The back one. Alrighty. I try not to um, wet the leaves as much. Because you might have some issues later on, especially when it's warm. Um, right now, I think I might need, uh, okay, I guess. Usually I put the, uh, jug on my little step stool, the little wood one back to there. And, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to do it right now. Go ahead and show you that. Somewhat heavy. Bring it here. Up next to it. Put this on top. Sorry about that. And uh, same thing. Some of these don't have the uh, uh, hydroton in there, so you can see a little bit better and see if the soil is wet or not. On these on top, obviously they're going to need a lot less water. Uh, these on top, I give them about half a cup uh, to about a full cup, depending on the size. And if they're uh, dry or wet, 
but these are somewhat moist right now, so I'm not going to be wetting them too much. You won't, we have to watch out for that fan back there. Make sure you don't spray it. Get close to the soil. All right, so for the most part, all the ladies have been uh, misted, soaked. So I'll go ahead and uh, take the nozzle off. Don't forget where you uh, place it. Go ahead and give this a couple more pumps. Okay. Coming back over here. In the bag. Off to the side. So with these down here, the ones that have the little tray, the little dish, uh, I don't worry about the uh, runoff a little uh, too much. So I'm gonna either put about maybe half a gallon uh, to a quarter of a gallon every other day. Them. There's that for right now. And scoot this jug over. Start from the middle, work your way to the uh, edges, not too much because then the uh, water will come out. But like I said, these with the dish on the bottom, I don't worry about too much because you know it has a little container where it's going to catch all that. This one here, since it's on a little stand, a little pot stand, uh, I, I'll wash this one a little bit more than the others. If you don't want a whole lot of runoff, uh, because then it's going to go down here on the wood and just sit there. So with this one, at least, you have to avoid watering it too much. You don't want to have too much of a runoff. So just give it a good watering. Uh, I would say wait a while, so I'll we'll come back to it. Let's get these ladies up front. So in the middle, work your way to the edges a bit. And back to the middle. We're done for uh, at least right now. Get the edges. And uh, finish up the middle. Uh, and if you really pay attention, you'll see the uh, water uh, go into the uh, soil, get absorbed to it. Uh, if, the, if you guys seen my video yesterday, they, there was some uh, runoff. There's some right now. Um, and it got soaked up or wicked up by the soil in the smart pot within 24 hours. So it, it drinks plenty. Like I said, with these dishes, don't worry about too much putting the... Uh, the nutrients or, or if you're watering don't worry about it too much um, I'll have the runoff there and uh, within 24 hours it should be gone so if you kind of see the line where the soil came or the uh, water line came up to but, so that's for that come back over here water all these two gallon smart pot this probably needs about a quarter to a half a gallon of water uh, and I'm gonna have to refill on that. So I'll go ahead and uh, refill that up, get a little bit more, finish uh, watering the ladies. And uh, like I said, a couple things to keep checking out for is the spider mites, any more spotting than usual, any webbing in between uh, the tops or leaves. Uh, right now we're also checking the temperature since we've been having issues. Uh, temperature right now is about a 90. That's basically where uh, it stays at. It gets really hot and it stays around that temperature. I'm surprised the ladies are uh, doing fairly well in here. Uh, also, uh, every once in a while, I'll give these ladies like a quarter turn or something like that. But for right now, since we had the little issues with the spider mites and stuff, I don't really want uh, ladies touching too much. Uh, that way, if you know something does happen, it's not spreading. Um, actually, you know what? Since it is kind of getting warm in here, I'll go ahead and uh, unscrew these lights, a couple of these, so uh, I'm able to sleep better at night, knowing that uh, it's not going to be 90 above. So, in here, there's another little thermostat temperature up here. It's 
90 in there. There's nothing in here. Let me get my uh, top before I forget it. Kind of have everything in here. Uh, little measuring syringe down there. I'm not exactly sure if you're going to get uh, to spray method one. Uh, you never know. Uh, hopefully by that time I'm here. But uh, for all you guys out there, the growers stacking up nicely. Purple cheese. Um, so these two ladies, you, you want to uh, uh, get the little uh, stand, the little wood stand, and bring it over here. Stand on top. That way you can see from the top uh, of the uh, canopy. And on uh, this box, we want to be checking for any PM issues, powdery mildew. So we will look at the uh, fan leaves, making sure there's no white spots. Um, in here we'll have a lot of crystal and a lot of trichome production. Um, but uh, that's basically what you're looking out for. And like I said, for these, since we don't really have a whole lot of issues, I'll go ahead and give them their half turn. So we have uh, light distributed somewhat evenly. And uh, we'll have hopefully some even sized nugs. Okay, so uh, I guess we're good. Actually, you know what? No, we're not good. I'm going to close this up. I'm going to close this up just to show you. I uh, have a little issue here. It's not like all perfect, but uh, so with this, because we have a little uh, gasket here, seal it all off. Can I have to uh, like push, like really? push and grab this one and there you go it's a little hard to push up the end right here watch for your fingers and uh, put the lock on it uh, I have the key off to the side right here there's a key so as soon as you come come in open unlock it and this is going to be a little issue, so you're going to be pushing and pulling. Let's see if I can do this one hand. Yeah, it's, not, it's not too bad, I guess. Let's see if I can see that. I wish I had a file and file this down a bit. But, uh, alright, so that's about it. Uh, hopefully everything uh, goes well um, while I'm away. Um, what else? Also recording. Um, hopefully my wife members uh, to record um, there might be some transplanting later hopefully when I'm here so that's about it you guys I'm gonna come in and hurry get my stuff done uh, like I said today last day before my surgery uh, get everything done get finished up go home and uh, rest so peace out fam take care uh, stay tuned like subscribe if you haven't comment below um all that good stuff you guys and uh hopefully i'll be uh seeing you guys soon like i said stay tuned for that um uh, i might do something after my surgery i might have a little uh smoking actually i can't have a smoking session sorry sorry about that that's one of those things too uh i'm kind of worried about so most likely i will be on uh some of the pharmaceuticals that they gave me this some painkiller so i'll probably be you know all high off of that while I'm making my video, I'm not exactly sure. I'm, I'm thinking of putting, uh, getting my, uh, my my weed, my flowers, and um, kind of thinking of uh, uh, decarbolizing it. Maybe that's what you say. Uh, decarbing your my weed, my flowers, and uh, that way I can kind of grind it up, mix it in with my uh, coffee, and. Uh, Hopefully make some uh, weed coffee, I guess. And uh, obviously that won't make me cough. I won't have any issues with my uh, stitches or staples or whatever they're going to give me. And uh, I'll be good. So I want to go ahead and finish watering. As you notice, it's not too much. Since I did come in yesterday and watered them and I fed them. Uh, I'm just making sure they have enough water for tomorrow all day we're gonna be gone um, 
seems like my wife is going to have to come in Saturday morning and uh, give these ladies another watering. So hopefully by then she uh, will make a video for me. Make a video for me just to check on the ladies as well as one or maybe the same one to post online. So uh, stay tuned for that, you guys. My lady will be taking over. So be nice to her uh, like you guys should be nice to yourselves and each other. Uh, I don't really have to worry about it too much. There's not a whole lot of trolls here. Um, all you guys in the uh, growing, consuming community, you guys are uh, fairly tamed. You guys aren't really wild and crazy and just out there and causing havoc. So uh, that's, a, that's a great way, you know, to, to, to get across your points and, uh, you know, share your vision is it's not being crazy and just out there so all right you guys uh cross your fingers uh pray for me all that good stuff hopefully it's not so painful uh surgery from when i check in to when they release me should be between five or six hours so kind of feel bad for my lady because she's going to be there for a while I might tell her to go out and get something to eat all that good stuff so oh it's getting hot in here um it's one of those things i was, I was worried about temperature up there as you guys can tell i mean it's, it's been the hottest and uh it's leds it's somewhat cool in here it's like i said but it's been getting uh pretty hot in here um it's gonna be one of those uh summers where i'm not exactly sure if i'll be growing because um, just the struggle you know and then the AC being on for so much I might just have to wait for uh, fall hopefully not but uh, that's what it seems like I'll be waiting uh, because cooler temperatures obviously won't need the AC as much uh, cooler temperature for me uh, basically uh, results in better plants better flowers so let me head, go ahead and move this jug I did get some water stocking up so my lady don't have to go to the store and me uh, lugging around those heavy jugs so push push hard I set that get that lock on there Okay, that's closed. And here, let's put our stool back. I wish I had a, uh, actually in this fan, I'm gonna put it on, turn it on actually. Uh, so we have a little bit more airflow. Put it on medium, that's fine. Just something, we have the air moving in here as well as uh, being filtered. So, goodbye ladies. Uh, who knows when I'll see you next, but, uh, well, hopefully it's not too long. Just close it up. Um, also about the feeding, I kind of just missed it out right now and I've just kind of seen it. So on the tops, it has how much to put pour, uh, per gallon. If you follow it somewhat, putting in at least the grow micros bloom, if, you, if it is in bloom, uh, if it's not in bloom, you don't have to worry about that. But for the most part, if you follow this, you don't have to pH and adjust. You don't have to use that. Um, but if you want to take your time, we have the meters, or I have the meters off to the side. That way, uh, if you want to double check, you can. All my meters are in here. Just make sure once you uh, test them, you kind of... Uh, dip them in clean water and uh, uh, put them back make sure everything's nice and dry so alrighty guys that's it it's a wrap uh, let's uh, hopefully it goes good you guys I'm out take care you guys
pray for me. Peace.